In this video, I'm going to show you three common placements for your Sabo Stim one for the arm. So top of the shoulder for subluxation, back of the upper arm for elbow extension, and on the top of the forearm for wrist and finger extension. So we're gonna start with the top of the shoulder. Stim one is already set up. So I'm just taking the backing off the gel electrodes. For shoulder subluxation, this is where you've got a gap between the, the muscle bulk and the humeral head. So I just run my finger down off the humeral head, feel the gap, and then I'm gonna place the Sabre Stim one just as I start to feel the muscle bulk. Place in the white disc down the side of the arm so that one of the electrodes wraps around towards the back of my upper arm and the other electrode around towards the inside of my upper arm. So that's set up one carefully peel off. So for elbow extension, I want to get it on triceps. This time you've got two different options. So you can form the wings into a V shape and stick them on the back of the upper arm. I would suggest this if you have got quite a bulky arm and you've got the width to do this on the upper arm. On my arm, I would probably be better off going for option number two, which is in a vertical line. So I'm really just making sure that I'm going in the middle of the back of the upper limb for this. So that's for elbow extension. Then for wrist and finger extension, I'm going onto the forearm and I want to get it on the muscle bulk. So just down from the elbow, you'll feel a fleshy part of the top of the upper arm. I'm just going at a slight angle in a line towards the elbow. I don't want it to be too near my wrist because I want to still be on the muscle bulk on the top of my upper arm. So this would give me wrist and finger extension. Those are your three common placements. You can also check out photo pictures in the back of your manual and to contact our clinical support team for any further advice um, links on our YouTube channel. Thank you.